Hey, Monte, when you guys convened today, and obviously I'm assuming looked at clips, what was apparent um, from the film from last night? Uh, we just, uh, we had a season low in contests, uh, you know, 50-50 balls. I think we got one. Uh, just flying around mentality, you know, we just got to have more effort. And, uh, yeah, that's really about it. Protect the three-point line. No guys, we running off and things like that. Easy clean up, so we just got to go out there and do it. It's not like a team, you know, Portland or any team in the NBA. You know, we didn't play them, and we're so familiar with them. It's not like it's a new team, you know, that just landed, and we try to figure them out. We know we know them. They know us. We just got to play with more urgency and more effort. Matt Moore, the Action Network. Monte, the, the overall off offensive numbers are good, but obviously a lot of misses off of Jokic just passes. Are there stuff that – are there things you guys can or are used to doing off ball to try and get better cuts, more space, those types of things in order to get better looks if they're staying home and not doubling, Nicola? No, I mean, that's what we want. If they're not doubling, you know, we get a ball to best player in the league, MVP, and just let them go to work. I mean – that's great offense, you know, that's what we want to generate. But if they do help, you know, we just got to, you know, move better, cut when you're supposed to cut, get yourself up, be unselfish for, your, for the next guy and step up and make shots, which we will be, man. It's a long series. We got a lot of basketball left. AD Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Tay, I know you said that with all the time you had to take off because of the injury, you were still kind of getting the feel for playing with that second unit. But yeah. when do you feel like that group is at their best? Can you describe what that basketball looks like? And then do you feel like that group has any clear advantages over Portland's bench? Yeah, I mean, obviously, Simons and Melo came in and had a big impact. Uh, but I think our bench, um, you know, is a lot better than theirs. They don't, I don't feel like they don't really trust – the guys, they play two guys off the bench, you know, most of the time. So if we can come in with a better effort, and I think we had our best, Katie, when we actually get stops. You know, we was taking the ball out a lot last night. We weren't getting a lot of stops, so it was hard to get it flowing. But we want to play with more urgency, more pace. We know they're going to switch a lot, uh, one through five in the second unit. We just got to uh, distort that with our pace of play and, and make them miss and get out in transition, which we did. Um, we cut it to four late in the fourth um, and had a chance to win it. So I think that's more our style in the second unit, just playing with more pace and things like that. So going forward, you know, he touched on that um, DA um, today, just like we got to play with more urgency and more pace. So going forward, I feel like guys will be more locked in on that and getting stops and, and running. Brandon Cristal, KOA. Yeah, Monte, you mentioned that it's a long series. So I'm, I'm curious, what are the conversations you guys had after the game? Is it just that, not to panic and all that? But what, what are you guys saying as teammates in the, in the locker room? Uh, you know, it's only one game, but, I mean, we all grow, man, and we just got to, you know, take ownership. And when we not doing the things that we went over in practice upstairs and translate it down to the floor, you know, when the light's on, so – I mean, we, we try to be straightforward and not try to sugarcoat stuff. I mean, that's the only way you're going to get better. Um, and not, you know, worrying about hurting guys' feelings. We got to have a more sense of urgency, more mentality to, um, you know, just be selfless and, and get stops and run and, and play together. So um, we've been here before. Um, we've been down 3 1 multiple times. One game is nothing. We tie it up, go to Portland. You know, it's an even ball game. So, um, as far as, you know, panic and things like that, I mean, we fine. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. Hey, Monte, Jamal was obviously on the bench uh, last night. It seemed like he was, like, really in the huddles, coming on the court, like, um, trying to pump you guys up. Did you feel like him being there made any type of positive impact at all on you guys? Yeah, um, you know, Jamal's, you know, he's, a, he's one of our leaders, you know, that we look to. A lot, a guy who played this game, loved his game, and played at a high level. Um, you know, so him just standing up and hyping us up and being in huddles and things like that, just seeing his view from the sideline, you know, a guy who had 50 multiple times, you know, in the playoffs, you know, this level of play, and you know, and what to do. So 
just him seeing the point of view from a different view is big for us. You know, me coming out the game, asking what he see and things like that, um, and vice versa. So, you know, it's dope to have him on the sideline um, and getting his point of view also. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Sort of on that note, Tay, with all the time that you spent out, I know you haven't in your career spent a ton of time out because of injury. Did you see the game any differently? Are you applying anything that you learned from being out to the game now? Yeah, I mean, sitting out definitely just, you know, it was definitely a different view for me, just seeing how the game flow and just like where I can pick my spots more and, you know, how teams really play certain guys and things. But I think sitting out, man, you know, it was a blessing in disguise for me just to get my body right, but more so just my mental and my focus and my love, like, my love for the game never went away. But, like, once something, you know, that you do every day get taken from you, you kind of just, like, not take it for granted. Like, it's always going to be there. So, I think that was my biggest, you know, adjustment. Just, like, man, like, I was itching to get back out there. So, like, now I'm just trying to attack it always with a positive attitude and just apply what I was seeing when I was sitting out to on the court. So, um, you know, going forward, I'll do that. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Monte, um, given kind of their strength in the backcourt, do you kind of rally or gather your guards, you know, in Faku and Austin and Shaq and Marcus and kind of, you know, give them encouragement and say, you know, we, we can do this. We need to lock in defensively. But do you talk to those guys on your side? Just try to balance that out. Yeah, I mean, always. Uh, I mean, I've been played against Dame and CJ – you know, plenty of times since I've been here uh, playing in my three years here. Um, so, you know, they kind of new to them. I'm, I'm sure Austin played a lot against those guys also. But, you know, those guys, they great talent. And, you know, Dane can shoot it, you know, from anywhere. And CJ also can. So we know they're going to make tough shots and things. But we got to do a better job is just making them work on the other end also. You know, um, they're amazing talent on offense. But on defense, we got to make them use some type of energy to distort some of that shot making. So um, I think going forward, you know, our game plan is just trying to involve them more on the other end. So they working on both ends and not just offense. So, yeah. All right, Monte, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Chris Dempsey from Altitude Sports. Hey, Monte. Hey, I just wonder how much pressure do you put on yourself to score in bunches? Um, and if the, and if so, is that any different than how you've ever approached the game before or, or, or is it the exact same thing? Oh, uh, I mean, not really. I'd just be picking and choosing. Like, you know, coaches told me like first quarter, I didn't think I attempted a shot to like the second or whatever, but um, you know, he's just like, look for your shot. But like me, I'll just be trying to calculate just how they plan me most of the time and things like that. So later in the game, I can just, you know, attack because I know how they plan me. But um, scoring in bunches, I just go out there and do what the defense tells me to do. But I know, you know, with guys down and things like that, um, you know, I got to pick my aggressiveness up, you know, my scoring low and, you know, do that, and, which I've done it before, you know. You know, in college, you know, all that, high school, all that, you know, it has a window where I just kind of play this role. But I'll definitely be more aggressive um, going forward and uh, try to, you know, help, you know, Nicola and, you know, because he do a lot for us. So going forward, I'll definitely be more aggressive. All right. That'll do it. Thank you, Monte. Yeah.